Hello everybody, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Last time we met Brahm and Nephany, who were putting down a rebellion of sorts in their hometown of Oma. And today I believe those two are going out to inform Queen Alincia about it. Let's get going with Chapter 2 of Part 2. In a rural Crimean town, a band of rebels sow the seeds of discontent. They are stopped by Brahm and Nephany, two former Crimean soldiers. However, more uprisings are sure to follow. Brahm and Nephany decide to travel to Melior, the capital of Crimea, and inform Queen Elincia as to the gravity of the situation. I see. So that's what's going on. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. I'm very sorry your village was affected by this. You have my sincere apologies. Oh, no, your majesty. We don't need no apology. We're just happy we could help. Lucia, Brahm's story confirms what we've suspected all along. Yes, as we thought. Duke Ludwig of Felere is firing up a rebellion. We should have seen it coming. To be honest, Queen Lincia, there are... There have been a number of indications that something like this was underway. We hope to uncover something more tangible than hushed rumors. I should have told you sooner. No, I bear some responsibility as well. The discontent among the populace is due to my lack of experience as a ruler. Now that a rebellion is gaining momentum, innocent blood will surely be spilled. I've always held the well-being of the Crimean people as my highest priority. I've done my utmost in Crimea's name. And all I've ever desired is a country where war and hunger are unknown. Begging your pardon, Queen Alincia. Yes, Brom? Your Majesty is doing a bang-up job of it. This country is a safe place to live, and that's more than most can say. Once you get the hang of things, I'm sure you'll be the name future kings and queens try to live up to. We know you can do it. And it ain't like all young bucks out there got bees in their bonnets. It's a whole mess of folk doing their darndest to make this a fine country. They want to make you proud, Your Majesty. I... Thank you. All nations experience unrest when the reins of leadership change hands. It's true the world over. But for Ludwig to start beating the drums of wars as if this were unheard of, what utter nonsense. We must not allow it. Your Majesty, would you, would you, bleh, would you be so kind as to appoint me to the task of his capture? I myself am marching to Felleray and seize Ludwig and his rebels. No, Geoffrey. Joffrey? I think Joffrey. We can't do that. Unfortunately, we don't have enough evidence to arrest him. But... Don't worry, brother. If we have no evidence, then I suppose we'll have to dig some up. Your Majesty, I'd like to take on that job. Lucia, I appreciate your dedication. You have my permission to proceed. Alright, I'm gonna go dig up dirt, I guess. <laughs> uh, so let's check info here. We got, we got a bunch. Let's start with Heather. Then she's at the top. Aw, I really wanted to go to the palace. I would have been happy with just a tiny little glance at Queen Alincia. She's glorious. This is so unfair. Yep, it's the pits. But that queen of ours is a real nice lady. Knowing her, she probably just let you talk to her, noble or not. The nerve of that Duke Ludwig. He ruined my one chance to meet the Queen. I won't stand for it. it means a kick in the rear, or a punch in the mouth. The things I'd do to him. Um, Heather, you sure are a lovely gal and all, but you sure do say some funny things. Can't argue with that, Nephany. But that's just the way folks are. They ain't always what they appear to be. Ain't nobody perfect, neither. Unless you're talking about the goddess, that is. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh. Well, hi there, Miss Lucia. What can we help you with? I came to ask a favor. If it's not too much to ask, I'd like you both to accompany me to Felere. Hmm. Nah, no, that won't be a problem. You going to catch the Duke? Something a little more preliminary. 
I guess you would call it espionage. Espia what? Sounds serious. Nephany, you ever heard of that? Oh, sure. When I was a sprout, I caught a real bad case of that. Got this awful rash all over my back, too. Uh, that's a very nice story. Maybe I better explain what I mean. <laughs> Don't you know anything? Espionage is all about stealing secrets and not getting caught. It's one of my many strong points. Oh, really? And who might you be? My name is Heather. I'm a friend of Nephany's. I'd do anything to help Her Majesty. Seriously, anything. I see. Maybe you can lend a hand as well. Miss Lucia, you're the greatest. Like, amazingly, stupendously great. I'd love to help. I got a real bad case of that when I was a sprout. <laughs> Underappreciated line in this game, I think. Uh, Lagoos. Oh, hello. Lady Lucia, we've heard a rumor that you'll be leaving to investigate an enemy. Is this true? Lady Leith, Sir Mordecai, I... well... We could return to Gallia and bring back soldiers to help, you know. As an ally in a time of crisis, I'm certain our king would lend support. No, Lady Leith, this is an internal affair. We don't want to have to involve Gallia in Crimea's civil problems. More fighters are always better. People of Gallia, all will fight for Queen Alincia. Listen, I know you mean well, but I just can't allow it. I'm sorry, but if there were even a hint of Gallia's assistance, there'd be even more pro well, there would be even more problems in the royal court. Problems? What problems? This conflict isn't exactly a life or death situation for Crimea, so relying on support from a Lagoose nation would cause an uproar with the nobility. Is that what you mean? Yes, unfortunately. I'm ashamed to admit it, but it's the truth. No, it's common sense, given the history of both our nations. I completely understand. We won't report this to Gallia. Thank you for your understanding. I apologize for troubling you. No, it is fine. Why this tactic of rousing the people to rebel against the queen, though? Any Lagoos who wanted to be king would fight for with teeth and claws as is proper. You Bayark are always wasting time talking. Our society is very complex. There's history and tradition, unwritten law and custom. There are lots of reasons for why we... Bah! Attempts to compromise won't get you anywhere. You should just kill him and get it over with. Mordecai feels sad. Poor Queen Alincia. We cannot help her. That's not true, Mordecai. Having support from you and Leith is very helpful. Really? Mordecai will help with anything. Hmm. I have a great idea. Together with the Lagoos... Princess Leanne, why do I suddenly have a crowd? She says that she'd like to go. No, I'm sorry. It's much too, much too dangerous where we're going. I couldn't risk something happening to you. Oh, I guess this mangy old coot will be joining the action then. To ensure my lady's safety, of course. Sir Nelucci as well. Stars above. <laughs> Alright, what's Alincia up to now? Your Majesty? Okay, all finished. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. It's a secret. Aha! That was a needle and thread, wasn't it? Did you just sew something into my collar? It's a good luck charm. To keep you safe while you're away. So you'll come back to me in one piece. Valencia. Be careful out there. I'll be praying for you. Thanks. I'll be back with good news, I promise. Hey, a talisman. That does not increase luck. That increases resistance. Uh, Joffrey. Lucia, wait. You can't stop me, Joffrey. I know that. But I can try to keep you safe, can't I? So I'd like you to take this. An elixir? I don't need it. I'm just... I'm not going to fight, you know. If you don't use it, so much the better. But just hold on to it. For me. Alright. Promise me you won't do anything stupid. Promise for Alincia and me. And for Bastion. For you to even mention his name at a time like this. I give up. Sure, I promise. Keep Queen Alincia safe, got it? Of course, on my life. And then Elixir. Cool. Alright, so who are we working with? Lucia, Leith, and Mordecai. And these three that we know. Uh, I suppose we can take a look at them now. Lucia is a sword master. She's pretty cool. 
So she's got a Silver Sword, a Wind Edge, and Iron Sword. She has lots of options. And the Talisman and Elixir. And she has, um... Parody. So she can cancel, like, all combat bonuses for herself and her opponent and just fight on pure stats. Which can come in handy. Can come in handy. Uh, here's Lee. She's a Cat Lagoose. I don't think we've seen one of these before. At least not on our side. And she's also known as one of the reasons I'm a furry. So, you know, that's fun. I like Lee. I wish she was good, though. A good Lagoos are few and far between in this game, unfortunately. But I'll do my best with her. And Mordecai is another tiger. This is our second tiger, I believe. And he has Smite. So it's like Shove, but it goes two spaces instead of one. Also, kind of situationally useful. Yeah, that's them. Is the old guys. Uh, let's uh, spin this around. I'll do a couple preps off off camera here. Okay, there's not really a lot to do here since there's no shop or anything. I mostly just trade around healing items and uh, deposited stat boosters. So let's get going. Well, well, my dear Lady Lucia. Quite away from home, aren't we? Please do excuse the sudden visit, Your Grace. Princess Leanne, Lady Leaf, this is Lord Ludwig, Duke of Felleray. I was thinking that our Lagoo's guests might enjoy the fine fruits this region is known for. We've traveled quite a long way. I hope it won't be too much trouble. Don't be ridiculous. I could be nothing but delighted by, by a visit from you, Lady Lucia. Although I must admit, I would be all the more pleased if you would come such a long way just to see me. You are too kind, Lord Ludwig. Please, feel free to take your ease. You are welcome to stay in Felleray as long as you desire. This is it. This document is an order written by Ludwig himself, marked with his signet. If we show this to the Royal Assembly, we'll surely have the backing to indict him. Thank you so much, both of you. We have to quell this uprising before things get out of hand. If there is no war, we are happy. But if there is war, it is good we came. Ludwig is poor prey. He hides behind a shield of words, not realizing that words can be seen through. Yes, and that's quite fortunate for us. But we still have to get out of here without being detected. Here, let my view. My, my lady, you mustn't raise your voice. Who's there? Show yourself. Princess Leanne, Sir Nelucci. I thought you had returned to the royal palace. What in the world are you doing here? Ho oh, ho ho, forgive us. We just couldn't help but be concerned for you. Here are. Well, what can I say? This just means we'll have to be even more careful to get out of here safely. Someone is coming. Guards? This cave only has one exit. I guess that means we do this the hard way. We've obtained enough evidence to indict Ludwig, so there's no point sticking around. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Fog of War 2. Nah. Okay, victory defeat boss. He's over here somewhere. But it's dark, so we can't see. But there are torches. So let's uh, light up a torch. Also, I think Heather can see far in the dark, since she's a rogue. But torches are generally a good way to go, too. I want to say someone's standing here. I'm going to move Brom, like, here. Yes, there he is. So maybe Lucia can... Uh, do something to this guy. 14 times 2. She's not getting hit. Let's go with that. See her in action. Couldn't quite finish him off, though. 
Nephany might be able to. Yep. And we can probably get away with lighting that torch on the next turn. Send, send the others the other way. Oh, all my Lagoos are down here. Oh, maybe I didn't think that through very far. Or very well. Yeah, I don't think I did. Um, I can uh, do that. It's the optimum way to use that, though. Let's do some of uh, Mordecai's living grass here. Sing for him and Brom. I can move him back here-ish. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with. I think we put Leaf here in Lagoo Stone. She should be fine. Mordecai should be fine. He has a ton of HP. And pretty good defense, even untransformed. So, Mordecai should be fine. Brom. Some Brom down here to help out too, I guess. There we go. And Neluchi. I don't know what to do with Neluchi. He has Lagoo Stone. Maybe hold on to that for now. Just kind of stick him here. Why not? Ow, punch him. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. He'll be okay. That's why I gave him the elixir. Alright, and here's Leith in action. Actually, I have kind of another funny story about this map and Leaf. Um, my grandmother was watching me play this map once. Just, like, when I was still living at home, she was over. And I was playing this, she was watching. And she was kind of trying to figure out what was going on. So I kind of explained <laughs> what the Lagoos were. She's like, okay. So she's like, I don't really quite still understand uh, the cat, but it looks cool. <laughs> Something along those lines it just always stuck with me. So, that's my story about my grandmother and, and Lee. <laughs> oh, let's have... Let's, yeah, light that up. Move Lucio into the dark a little bit. Oh, hello. That's good. Want to watch out for him. Um, I was hoping Mordecai might get more gauge than that. Maybe Brom can move in here. Yeah, so Brom do that. And then Leith can finish him off, I guess. There we go. Oh, perfect. Something like that. Yeah, she still gets no XP, though. That's the problem with Lagoos. One of many problems with Lagoos. Ah, uh, if, I, if I make Leanne bigger than she should be safe up there. Let's go for that. I think it's a good move. So then we can box in that archer or kill him. And then Leanne, Leanne will be safe. Yeah, perfect. Bop, get out of here. Actually, speaking of my grandmother in this game, I first played this game with my grandparents. I think it was a birthday present, and we were, we were at their house for it. So I got it there. And uh, played it there for the first time. Go figure. Uh, what's this guy gonna do? He has options. Maybe too many options. What can Heather do to him? Not much. He has something to steal, though. He has a vulnerary. Okay. We must stick Heather, like, here. Maybe she can bait, like, Longbow Guy or something. Mordecai... 
Give. Let's do that. I think looks good. Then have him back up. Or I take here. Vulnerary. There we go. He'll be fine. Heck yeah. And again, dodge. Yes, let's go Mordecai. Dodge again. Heck yeah. Oh, and again. Dang. Oh, can't win them all, I guess. Did he not get gauge when he counter-attacked? Attack? Counter -attacked. That might be something to keep an eye on. Wasn't sure if I knew that. Eleven times two. What about the archer? Fifteen times two. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and do that, Leaf. And what do we want to do with him? Gotta have stab him a little bit. Maybe have Brom go first. Actually, I probably should have moved Brom this way. Hey, weapon blow. Like over here. I suppose Mordecai can do that now. I don't really care about his vulnerary too much. So Heather, finish him off. Goodbye. And a level up. It's pretty good. More strength and speed. Alright, then these two can work out like up here. Nope. There's a guy there. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's fine. Please don't get hit. Thank you. The Anna Lucci are also here. Oh, I don't think anyone has like a Beast Slayer. Might be a Fire Mage somewhere though. I'll be fine. Let them shift. Oh, nobody's here anyway. Okay. Um, Lucci can probably be fine up here. Just kind of inch them towards each other. Oh, hello. Oh, it's healer, come on. Go away, dude. Fine. More XP for Nephany. I'm not complaining. Too much. I should have given uh, Liam the Reaper card. Or the Spectre card. What can... What use can Leaf make get out of it? Ten? That's not bad. Twelve magic. Three magic. How dumb do I want to be? <laughs> um, I can be very stupid here. Leaf is about to untransform. Could use the Spectre card with her. Sure, why not? I don't think Leanne could have been could have done enough. But there we go. Yay, Spectre card. I'll have Lucia actually light 
light that up. Okay. Good to know. Yeah, get rid of this guy. Goodbye. Hey, weapon on blow sweet. That's a bow gun. Those are scary. Uh, the like, crossbow, so they're one, two range bows. I want to say, like, they ignore strength, though. Like, that 24 might is just its base might, like, strength does get added onto it. Oh, yeah, I can see up there. Attack is only 24. Not 24 plus 19. So they're interesting. Light that up. There's, like, nobody over here. What the heck? Okay. Well, they're just like waiting in the shadows. Oh, do I want to go bop that guy real quick? I think I do. I can get her out of there. Yeah. Take this guy down. And do something with Lee. Probably nothing super productive. Uh, I could Lagoo Stone her again. Probably not after Lee and moved though. I'll just stick her here. Oh, here's Mordecai actually being a tiger. <laughs> Couldn't double him, though. Hey, it looks like a other kill, though. Bowgun guy did not move. That's a choice, I suppose. 17 and 17 is 34. Does parity change anything? Uh, 1069... And 54. Parody sometimes helps. Let's just never go for that, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a crossbow to the face, it's fine. Is that another, is that another uh, Spectre card kill? It is, or it could be. Ah, it's really dangerous though. I don't know who's who else is here. Maybe I'll go poke around before I do that. Oh, does he have this deal? I just need a vulnerary. Uh, knife him. Yeah. There is a hidden item way over here. I don't want to send Heather to go get. But it seems pretty safe over here. Oh, never mind. There's a mage. Uh-oh. Well, we can do that. Hold on. We can do this. And I think I know who's left. Who's left on the right. Skill and defense, okay. I have this, I think there's, yeah, there's three guys here, but they don't move, I'm pretty sure. I can still be safe about it though. Because Leanne can't reach. Spectre card, go! That's really funny. That was a lot of XP, too. Dang. Was that because she was untransformed? 
Maybe. Huh. Maybe untransformed Spectre cards kills are the way to go. I'll stick Lee in here. Eluchi can kind of hang back to, I think. Just to be safe. Oh, right. Those guys. That's fun. Yep. There's a thief fighting here with a coin. But Heather should be able to take him down, no problem. Not too worried about it. I want to say there's an archer in here, too, in the shadows. So if we have to deal with them, we'll have to deal with them, but I'm not fussed about it at the moment. Put Mordecai here. There they are. Axe, sword, wind mage. He won't move. He's a wind sage, though. He has a secret book. That could be useful. Maybe we'll bring Heather back up there. Mirage. Kind of looks like somebody I know. Or used to know. Huh. Alright. Um. I'll send Brom back this way. Those guys may catch up. Three. Yeah, I'll have Lucia beat up this guy a little bit. Oh, perfect. Or almost perfect. Okay, because as this guy obviously a mage, don't want to get too close to him. How do we want to go about this? What can the Spectre card do? One. Let's <laughs> see, do fifteen, eight. Definitely should be fine here. I'm going to just park her there for now. Get Leanne some XP. Yeah, something like that. Robin and Luchi can finish off those guys if they catch up. As I expected, the Queen's house pets are playful little pups indeed. The only thing you're sniffing about will get you, however, is an abruptly shortened lifespan. Be so smug about it, too. Ow. Oh, a mage. Thought it was an archer. Well, it works for me, though. Okay, I use this thief. This thief. I'm pretty sure that guy just like never moves. So if you never go fight him, you'll just never see him. All right, defense and HP. That's good. Oh, we lost his coin though. It's fine. There is. Something there, but Heather just didn't find it. Now oh, the Great Lance guy can reach. There we go. Nine times two. Or Nephany can finish him off. We can figure her away. Let's do that. I kind of want to get that secret book off him. Might come in handy. But yeah, he shouldn't move. If he does, then oops. Hey, like, Leanne level up, let's go.
All right. Cool. Um, let's revert Mordecai so his gauge can build back up. I think is the way to go. Kind of do that. A defensive position against Leanne in case he does decide to move. And again? No. Dang. Oh no, I can't see them. That's a problem. I'll move around to the other side of this great landscape. If I can. Okay, good. Whew. Hey, Brahm level up. Alright, speed defense res. Javelin guy, Nelu should be fine. I think it was a fire mage. Hope it was a fire mage. Are you kidding me? Really? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Oh yeah, Neiluchi's old. He can't see in the dark. There it is. Discipline. I knew it was something good. There, heal everybody, I guess. So much for my defensive formation. Go for Brahm, okay. Oh, Thunder, okay. It's hard to tell at a glance. They all wear red. Get up there. Well, they are, whatever your name is, Heather. Um. Move Leaf. Smite Leanne, there we go. There we go. Save a turn or two. Alright, these guys. Take out the mage. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Nelushi hitting all the low odds, I guess. Rom will slowly walk over this guy. Alright. What can Mirage actually do to Heather? 15? Okay. Should be fine. I'm gonna yoink the book. And wait, I guess. Mess him up, Heather. Hey, we can give it to a Lagoose. Probably leave. Just because I like her. Yeah, we'll be fine. 15 is less than 17. I assume Leith has enough power to do this. Good. Yeah. To associate with beasts like you, one has to wonder where the queen acquired such a lack of taste. A are you gonna lack in taste? Because we're gonna bite him. 
or whatever she did. <laughs> hey, leaf level up, let's go. Strength, good. <laughs> My death means nothing. Our plan is perfect. There is nothing. Nothing the queen can do. Get wrecked. As we suspected, Ludwig is intent on rebellion. His followers are spread across the land, inciting resurrection. We have the documents to prove it. Queen Lincia, I stand ready to, to defend the realm. I will lead the royal knights into Felleray, and we will seize the duke. I am hesitant to resort to the sword without at least attempting diplomacy. At all costs, I must stop the people of Crimea from fighting one another. Your Majesty, news from the countryside. Duke Ludvek has assembled an army and, has, and announced his intentions to, to, against you. I can read. The rebellion in Felleray is growing, qu growing quickly. I see... He must have realized that his operations were no longer a secret. Your Majesty, we have no time to waste. We must stand against this for the future of Crimea. I understand. Joffrey, leader of the Royal Knights, I hereby authorize the use of military force against the rebel army. Yes, Your Majesty, at once. I will begin marshalling forces. This rebellion must be stopped, or nobles in surrounding areas catch wind of it. Am I doing the right thing? Oh, father. Uncle Renning. Welcome back, Marcia. Did you learn of Sir Ike's whereabouts? No, I'm sorry. I've got nothing but sore feet and a tired pegasus. I've talked to a few local villagers who say the Griot mercenaries have been working low-paying low, odd, low paying odd jobs here and there. Nobody seems to know where they are now. But everyone agrees that this is the first time they've been gone for so long. Yeah, Urs. Princess Leanne, please try to keep your spirits high. I assure you, assure you, we will continue to investigate Sir Ike's whereabouts. Th thank you. Oh, Princess Leanne, you spoke? Quite a shock, yes? My lady has been studying your language, which we often call modern speech. That's wonderful. It's hard enough visiting a strange land, let alone learning the language. Oh, me, not big, no p problem. Qu Queen Lincia has trouble heart. Ah, oh, I'd forgotten. The Heron, the Heron tribe can peer into the heart. I, c I can't hide the pain I'm feeling. At least not from you, Princess Leanne. Queen L Lincia. Why does this happen? My people fight brother against brother, and no matter what I do, I can't stop it. I'm a miserable failure. I just want to crawl into a cave somewhere. How can anyone believe in me now? I never asked for any of this. Never wanted to be queen. I can't... I can't do it anymore. Poor Alencia. I feel bad for her. I'm kind of noticing a, a just like literally just now crossed my mind for the first time a parallel between Alincia and Peleus. It's like so they're both like new to being in charge and they're both struggling with that. Which is interesting. I never put that together before. So yeah. Sounds like uh next time we take the fight back to Ludwig. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.